Hi guys, this is Mike Cecita, Carbonadio. I'm gonna be giving you a little tour of the company, so follow me. So a lot of people don't know this, but we actually manufacture everything in-house. Uh, this being one of our boards here, uh, this board will eventually go into these machines, SMT machines. Um, everything we make here is made this way, and it's all made here in California. A lot of people don't know that a lot of other companies uh, manufacture this overseas, not us. We actually do it all in here. I'm going to walk you through the process for this, but uh, yes, you can see it all starts right here. We have all the different boards of everything we make, power amps, uh, uh, power speakers, mixers. Um, uh, well, and I'm going to take you a little tour, so let's, okay. let's get started. So basically we have different machines here, different machines, they're for different parts. Some of the parts are capacitors, some are uh, op amps, some are different transistors, and each machine has its own purpose. As it goes through, it mounts the different components, uh, and if it wasn't for these machines, it would be very difficult for us to build what we do here, because uh, this makes the process for us a lot bigger. Before, we used to do this by hand. We had a row of people that were stepping these parts back in the day when it went to the wall through. Uh, being that now it's all surface mounted components, uh, it makes it a whole lot easier, a whole lot faster. And it's because of this, because of these machines, that it makes it possible for us to actually build this here in San Diego. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be possible. It would be too expensive because we'd have need to have a whole row of people doing just this. But these machines, they speed it up and it makes it a whole lot easier for us. All right, so this machine is very important. It's an optical scanner. What it does is it detects the arrows for the other machines. Sometimes a part will be flipped off or it'll be uh, stuck um, sideways just a little bit, just enough to fail. This machine will catch that. Uh, and then we can, um, it's, it's our way to error proof our, our boards before it goes further through uh, production. Uh, it's, it's basically an oven, basically, uh, and it melts the paste that it was put on uh, on the board back in the very beginning. At this point, the board is actually, all the parts are actually on um, solid on it, because uh, this machine melted the solder, and obviously by the time it comes out, it's already fully stuffed. But as you can see, this board is, is almost ready, this being uh, the front board for a DCM, I believe. So uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is another process uh, for this. Our rayonics machine. This machine makes it, um, it, it's automated so that we can stuff, you know, hundreds and hundreds of parts. Uh, 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 how do I say this? <laughs> it's, it's basically an automated machine for you to be able to stuff so many different parts. Uh, there's a light that actually uh, shines on the board itself and it tells you where to stuff the machine. Inside, uh, right in front of her, as you can see, the parts are actually uh, uh, coming to her. So she doesn't have to go look. And if you, if you can, you can actually see a light that tells her where the part is going to go. Inside this table is full of parts. And uh, the next part actually moves underneath the table and it comes up for her. So all she has to do is grab it and put it on. Look at the light, grab it, put it on. Look at the parts right here. They're not soldered yet. They're actually ready, ready to be soldered. These are, these are prepped. Um, this is after Rayonic. As you can see, he's getting ready over here to send the board to the wave solder machine. The wave solder machine, you can actually see it out here. As it goes through, it solders all the parts uh, quicker. Uh, this is uh, this is another wave solder. Uh, of course, we have these points that we send all the time. But this is a very really important part. Uh, and if you look up front, you can see that uh, the SUV is not serious and all that because it's part of the California. Uh, it's difficult and you have to keep track of all the chemicals, you have to keep track of how much it's going out. Alright, so this board just came out of the wave solder. Uh, we still have to cut the leads down. Um, obviously, it's it's uh, it's an intricate part of, of the board. Some of these leads are, are actually uh, too long. We put it on this machine as a Q cutter. It shaves off a certain quantity of length for these parts. Obviously, this needs to go on a chassis on a uh, uh, different different models this being uh, one of our uh, XP models uh, after this part we inspect one more time this this inspection is more or less for a solder bridge maybe there's a solder bridge that is not supposed to be in a certain spot it's basically a, a, a secondary check of the board just to make sure that everything's fine after this step what we do is we actually test it for the first time this is important because this is our very first time this being one of our test stations she actually plugs it in uh, she checks for THD, she checks for the noise, checks for distortion, uh, checks all the different parameters. 
just to make sure that the board uh, is in fact power sun um, normal. So after the board has been tested, uh, we prep it. So this this being our, our rack here, ready to be ready to be put on the line. So what we do is we, we bring all the different metal, the, the, the labels, uh, anything that might go into building um, this particular model, and then afterwards, it actually goes into the line. So this being our, our production line, as it goes through, uh, Every single person here has all the parts they're going to need right in front of them. All the screws, the cables, uh, everything is ready to them. As it goes through, um, uh, this is, uh, it gets built. Basically. All right, so the very first thing after the unit is built is we actually run it for one full hour. What we do is we load it, we, we, we reload it and we put input into it, uh, signal and we let it run. Uh, this actually uh, is, a, is a good test for us here internally just to make sure that we got everything right. Um, as you can see on top here, we actually have a thousand watt uh, resistors up there and uh, that's the load for these amps. So what we do is we, we just let it run and like I said, if there's something wrong, we will, we will catch it here. We don't have many failures, uh, but this is a really good test for us because internally we can find out if something's right or something's not right. Uh, and this is our uh, internal check. So Mike, after. at this and then at this time, how many times have has Carbon tested all our products? So this would be now which step? How many? This times? would be the second time that we power up the unit, um, uh, and being that it ran for one full hour, you know this tells us that that the unit is ready to go. Now this being the second test, we're going to turn it on one more time over here, and this is, would be our third test. So what, what this is, we also check for distortion, we check for noise, we check for uh, THD, uh, and as it goes through, this would be our third test, uh, where we power it on and we're checking all the diff different parameters. Uh, it's an involved test, but we need to make sure that we that we test all the different uh, uh, sections or EQs uh, in all the different models. The speaker cabinet section. As you can see here, we have raw wood, birch, Russian birch. And we make these cabinets here. A lot of people don't know that. We actually make everything in house. It's all done in house here in San Diego. Uh, this being our uh, place where we got it. This being our TNT machine. We're going to make TNT machine. There's a lot of wood. There's a lot involved into this. It doesn't look like it, but all this is CNC'd in. It's not something that, that you can make easily. All of this needs to be done by, by machine, and it, it, it's all done here in-house. So this is the, the machine for it. It's a fairly complicated process. It's very time consuming, but we have to do it. And it's all done here in San Diego. There's a lot of, we, we, we have to do a lot of sanding here. There's a lot of prepping. Uh, like I said, it's a very involved process, but it's something that we have to do to ensure quality. There's a lot of sanding, a whole lot of sanding. Whole lot of sanding. All right, so here we're going to be building a 3903, something, uh, one of our models that is very, very popular. Uh, it's been used a whole lot by Mobile Beat. Uh, this is Willie. He's going to start building uh, one of them right now. So obviously the wood needs to bond together. Part of it is the wood. Believe it or not, the staples that go into this don't actually provide the strength. The strength for this actually comes from the glue. Uh, the glue needs to dry, obviously, but uh, uh, it is, the staple is more or less to keep it together while the glue dries. Uh,
right guys and there you have one of the most popular products here at Carbon. This is the TRX 3903, widely used by you guys, DJs at Mobile Beat. This is our column speaker. So this is this is fully built. It'll get put through uh, and spray, the dual the dual tech will get sprayed on, and we'll take it and get the, uh, the speakers put on. are built or sprayed uh, obviously some of them don't don't take the turret tech some of them actually take vinyl so that's what these cabinets are for they, they usually have the vinyl uh, applied and this is the, the area here we're doing custom 3903 uh, these are for a, for a customer a very special customer of, of us uh, he actually ordered the white 3903s which have been uh, popular lately uh, so you so you mobile be wedding DJs uh, you guys do ask us quite a bit for these white and we do have quite a quite a few of them built in white just for you guys that do the weddings and of course we can do different uh, different vinyls it's not just white we have a whole variety of them uh, and they're all available so at this point the cabinet is ready for the hardware for the speakers the crossover and this is the area where we, we, we uh, install all those, those components as it goes through they'll they'll install the speakers like I said uh, there's a, a whole variety of different uh, options available here for us too we can do custom speakers uh, besides custom It's been tested here. Uh, we do a fourth check. Uh, we do a sound check in, in, our, in our sound booth, and all that really is is just plugging it in, making sure that for the fourth fourth time that it is in fact uh, ready to be uh, bought. And uh, we do a quick sound check on it just to make sure that everything's fine. Right, so this being the end of the line, this will be the place where we box everything. Um, we have all the different boxes ready, and we have a foam machine. Uh, this is where it all comes down to. We, we clean it, we put the correct manuals on it, and we box it. And then from here, it goes to shipping, ready to, to be delivered to a customer. Ready for these guys to sell it. That's right, ready to sell it.